So I was able to get job offers without using any resume. Let me show you how I did that. You know what's crazy? I didn't even use my real name. As you can see here, here is my Indeed resume and it's just under Kobu Man. This is not a real name. This is just an alias I use for my YouTube channel. Kobu is not my name. Man is not my last name at all. And on top of that, I didn't even use a resume at all. This is what I put on my Indeed resume and I got so many contacts. I couldn't believe it. About a month ago, I went ahead and created this profile and as soon as I started, as soon as I created it, I started getting invites to apply for jobs from real people. And these are all emails I've gotten since then. So there's at least, what, seven uh, invites for different types of jobs. That's crazy to me because I did not use my resume. As you can see here, there's nothing in the resume. The only thing I did was put in what my work experience is in the sense when they ask you on the website, what is your work experience? You just click add a company. And all I did was put in a business system analyst and for the second one, desktop support technician. And of course, this video may be specifically for IT people, but I'd say give it a shot. Even if you're not in IT, try it out. Just put in the title and the place where you worked. This doesn't have any details whatsoever. My resume is not uploaded or anything like that. And everything else, I just kind of went and picked as just real quick, just to test to see what happens. So I picked help desk. These are just skills. Help desk, desktop support, Microsoft, Windows, Active Directory, all this IT stuff that I just randomly picked that I just kind of saw. You see how it kind of comes up. So, you know, if I have you know, experience in IT support, I just click IT support. There it is, boom, added. And then, I don't know, Microsoft Windows Server. I mean, I could just keep going, but I decided just to pick a few. And on the other hand, I actually, you can see I didn't even do anything here. I didn't do any certifications, nothing. I just put uh, associate degree up here. It's just like a random thing I picked. And, you know, aside from this here, and this here, um, everything else is fake, you know. Uh, this here, where I put as my part of my resume, as an IT YouTuber with 42k subs, and it says here, my name is Irvin, which is my real name. My name is really, and real name is Irvin. I'm sure you guys that follow me know this. And my resume is my YouTube channel. <laughs> By the way, I didn't put this up until, because I was halfway through, I was experimenting. I put this up kind of like halfway through the month. So like a couple of weeks later after I started getting invites for jobs. So yeah, I did not apply for any jobs and I started getting these. And I'm, I'm going to go through these here real quick. And here's the first one. Hi, Kobu. <laughs> I have a restaurant systems manager, IT support position, you know. And these are decent jobs, especially where I live in Midwest. Forty to fifty thousand dollars is a pretty decent um, IT job salary. You know, I'm sure a lot of places are uh, different. Like if you work in New York, or, or I should say, if you live in New York or California, things are twice as expensive, literally. So you know, forty to fifty thousand may not be a lot over there, but in Midwest, that's decent salary. <laughs> Here's the second one. Uh, from Rob Schenk. Hi, Kovu. I have a senior IT engineer. How does he, like, he's inviting me to do this type of job, and it's a remote, right? And the salary is between 80000 to 100000 US dollars. <laughs> and he's even telling me, please provide your salary expectations. Don't say negotiable. Please enter range. Why are you interested? Like, he's inviting me to apply for this job and it says here IT support five years preferred so if we go back and the only thing that he's got is that that I worked more than five years in IT you know according to this look I desktop support technician from 2004 to 2015 and then I have business systems analyst from 2015 to present that's all he's got to go on and the things that I randomly click look I can keep clicking net TCP IP network administration all of these things apply to me you know what I mean <laughs> I can just keep going and adding this 
But the crazy thing is, uh, at the same time, I applied with my actual resume and got only one hit. So at the same time, I, I, you know, I activated my Indeed. So if you go back to Indeed and you set your profile to be visible, you know, basically you go in and you go to, let's see, I think it's here. Where was it here? My profile. There it is. I'm sorry. It was already there. You make it public, right? So all I did on my real resume was actually just make it public as well as opposed to private, just to see what happens. Again, this is all I did. Look how short this, this whole thing is. And people are inviting me to these jobs. All right, let's see what else. <laughs> I have a network engineer position that I think you'd be a good fit for. How, how do you, what, based off what? There is a brief over your job description below. Please let me know if you're interested. A network engineer. Uh, this is, supposedly this is in St. Louis too. This is where I live. Uh, I mean, I, I live in the St. Louis County, but you know, driving, it's just like 30 minutes from me. Computer networking, one year preferred. Look at this. I didn't even, you guys saw me pick LAN experience just like recently when I clicked just on one of those things here. Here it is. LAN, I just literally clicked on LAN. That wasn't even there. And he's inviting me for this job. Isn't that amazing? And here's another one from Lisa Taylor. I have an IT support engineer position. Okay, so this is totally different. I know they're using a template with this, you know, high Kobu and all that. <laughs> this is so hilarious to me. IT support engineer, Marilyn Heights, eight hour shift. I actually saw this job available and it was playing, paying between, uh, I, well, I don't, I don't know exactly, but I think it was up to 65,000, which is amazing uh, salary for somebody who lives in Midwest. Uh, not to mention that other one that was paying up to hundred thousand dollars here's another one uh, i have it support specialist position here we go another one doesn't say where uh well i could i could look at the full-time job description but you know you know how long this video would be i just wanted to show you this did, did i check this one here here's another one it support specialist no this is the one we just saw all right let's see the other one Sarah Rogers. These are more recent ones. Look at this, man. IT support specialist in St. Louis, Missouri. Full time, right? It's full time. It's not temporary stuff that you've been seeing in during sixty eight to seventy five thousand dollars. This is a great salary for IT support. <laughs> it says here bachelor's preferred, but on my resume, I didn't even select that. I put associate degree. This goes to show how demanding, uh, how how much demand there is for IT jobs, I guess specifically. But not only that, guys, I did not even, you can see, I don't know how many times uh, I can say this without being too excited because look, it's not even complete profile. It's still asking me, what company did you work for as business system analyst? I didn't even list any of that stuff. All I put was, you know, business systems analyst. And then later on, halfway through the month, just for the shits and giggles, uh, just for fun, I put, hey, my resume is my YouTube channel. <laughs> I know you guys can't do that, but I, I started receiving these invites before even before that. And my actual resume has only received one. Only one. Isn't that crazy? And here's the last one. IT support specialist. Uh, St. Charles is really close to me. It's, it's still kind of a 30 minute drive, but it's $19 uh, per hour. So this is not quite 40,000, but it's a lot of 38,000. I want it's 39. I don't know. Salary a year. Still not bad, especially if you're doing like entry level type of stuff. And, and look at this. They don't even, it's the requirement here are Microsoft software environment, two years preferred user support, three years preferred. I suppose I did list that on here. But look how long, long it took me to fill this out. And this is a fake name. Does anybody really believe that this is a real name? And I even put on there, my name is Irvin Kobelman and my resume is my... <laughs> I don't know why I find this so hilarious. It's, it's insane. It's insane. So this is how, this is how you can get job offers and job invites without even filling it out, just go to Indeed and do this. If this is not a motivation enough, then I don't know what it is, guys. Even if you're not into IT, 
try it with any other jobs or try to do similar what I did here you know I'm not saying use this exact same thing if you're not if you don't have this exact same experience but try something that that applies to you and just see how it goes um, even if you're tired with your current job just like just try it out just to see you don't have to respond to any of these people you know just like and yeah I mean it doesn't mean that I would get any of these jobs that I'm invited to but they're so desperate to get people to apply that this is just the proof of it I got seven invites here just from doing nothing really under a fake name <laughs> anyways guys this is so weird uh, I don't know I wish you best of luck if you're looking for a job let me know in the comments if you are uh, looking for jobs and uh, I have a lots of stuff this is this is why I'm making these type of videos because I have a lots of uh, help uh, videos for IT and to get IT jobs and meaning like help you with the interview and all that stuff questions and answers and all that type of stuff yeah let me know in comments what your experience has been like has have you been have you had any luck in you know people like reaching out to you have you applied back have you responded to them actually and say hey I'm interested and who are these do you know who these people are I mean it kind of seems to me that these specific people are mostly actual people that work for the companies and not like contractors let me know what your experience is I'm, I'm really really curious anyways good luck take care bye bye